Do you want to add some cool looking and the stunning tables on your WordPress site like this or this? Then in this video, I am going to review a WordPress table builder that is the advanced table builder with the detailed overview on the features and how you can create these kind of the tables on your website. Everything will be covered in this video. So the tool name is the WP data tables and its lifetime deal is recently listed on the app Sumo starting from just $49. So let me show you what kind of the tables you can create these are the example for example you can create this kind of the data kind of a table you want to create the products table you can create it you want to add the catalog table you can add it you want a pricing table you can create it it has the financial table you can easily create with the advanced filter option you want to create comparison table boom here it is you want to create the advanced merge sale of the table you can also create it and suppose you want to create the stock market or the cryptocurrency pricing analyzing or the tracking table you can also create with this platform and this table builder is so much advanced because it is available from the last six or seven years that's why they are so ahead in the uh, this technology and let me tell you before this i was using the ninja tables pro for creating the this kind of a table that i have just showed you on the beginning of this video but now i am going to get this deal as soon as possible and going to add more advanced filters features and the tables in my website so let's get started and let me give you the demo of this platform so once you got its lifetime deal you have to add in your website and after that what you can do you need to log in on your wordpress site and here you need to install and activate the wp data plugins you can see we have the install and after that once you uh, activate the plugin you can see its features available on the left side of the menu so simply we'll go to the this wp data tables or we can also click on the create a table or create a chart yes you not only can create the tables but you can also create the chart so let me get started with the table let me click on the create a table and after that it is going to show you some of the option helping with you can create a table you want to create from the scratch this option available if you want to create the data table linking with some existing data source you can use this one and there's the also some adding manual table with the detailed options okay then there's also the table that you can uh, import from the google spreadsheet or excel so i'm going to give you a demo on how you can import the data using the google sheet so for example this is the google sheet with is a unlisted spreadsheet in my account here so i'm going to use this one okay so let me go back to the dashboard here and after that select this one create a data table by importing data table from data source okay and here i have to select the google sheet okay i have selected this one now let's click on this uh, next button and after that it is asking me input file path or url so we are going to get the file url so simply go to the file and here we have to go to the share and click on the this publish to web okay so we need this one and let's click on the publish okay and after that it is going to give us the this file link here okay so simply let me copy it and let's go back to the dashboard and here i have to paste the file url now let's click on the here this one and by the way if you have the some offline file available downloaded in your desktop or the pc you can also browse them and add here okay okay and after that your data will appear you can see we have the data and here you can see we have the data preview of this one and let me also tell you we have the four columns available and if i show you in my this spreadsheet we have the same four columns okay and what you can do along with this sharing from this or getting the link from this publish here what you can do you can also copy paste this link from here okay so this makes the process really easy but make sure before using this or copying this link you have to publish this spreadsheet on the uh, web here okay so you have to publish this one make sure to remember this little step before copying and pasting this link okay so now let's back to the our tutorial here and after that what you can do you can just a uh, uh, little bit changes here like the multi-line string one line string all these things you can uh customize here so if you don't know how to do that i suggest to watch its tutorial that is st 
detailed available in the its documentation okay so everything looks good fine and i will click on the create the table and open in the standard editor or the excel like editor so i will go with the standard editor here because it will be move more difficult in the excel type because i don't know how to use excel I, although i know how to use google sheet but in the excel i have never tried okay so after that you can see we have the all the data available and i think there is some problem i need to add i think sub description now let's click on the create table there was an error while trying to save the table okay one or more columns doesn't have the header please enter the header for your all columns okay i think one of the uh, tables don't have the header i i need to add header here okay so here's the header here's the header college r1 r2 string every i don't know what the problem going on because every he header has the co every column has the header available really okay so i don't know what's the problem let's click on the click again and this time we will go with the excel like i don't know what the problem going on but everything looks really good here to me so what we can do we can delete any of this one okay i think i deleted one column here and now try again okay this time work everything fine here and you can see our data table is loaded so i have deleted this one here because i don't know what the problem going on okay so you can see our all of the data is showing here the filter process is showing on the behind or uh, below of this table but we can also make it here okay on the top so that's how you can create a table that is really easy and i have showed you the only one of the six methods you can try to create the table and if you want more uh detailed demos and how or which kind of a tables you can create let me show you all of them so this is the docs here and let me show you the all of the tables uh demo here so this is a table table examples i will also link the give the link of this documentation in the description of this video make sure to check you out so this is the premium uh, league type like table some of the games league here and you can see it is showing the teams their score and the last six data available here this is the crypto currencies rank table okay so every time you click any of the tables example it is going to reload again here and this is the table i am talking about this is the live pricing that is going to fetch out with some of the integration also and you can see the in one hour the changes in last 24 hours or the last seven days so you can even create these kind of the advanced tables with the wp data tables so this is the really amazing tool that is currently available on the app sumo starting from the really really affordable pricing creating the data tables or fetching out the data from the google spreadsheet or the excel is really easy you can even download the table and after that upload it here on the wp data tables okay so simply after your table is ready you can save them and after that you will get the uh, short code that you can use anywhere on your website just paste the short code this is the short codes i'm talking about simply copy and paste anywhere your website and this is going to be showing live the tables on your website any pages okay so for example these are the some of the tables example i have also uh, uh, showed you and created so these are the some also other data for the demos you can check out. So that's all for today's video. If you want to check out WP data tables, this amazing platform, the link will be given in the description for the lifetime deal. And if you have any other questions you want to know about this lifetime deal or the WP data tables, ask freely in the comments. So that's all for today's video. Make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed and find helpful this video here of the data tables and in the upcoming video i am also going to compare it wp data tables with the ninja tables pro and show you all the comparisons and the all the things you can find it different in the both platforms or the wp plugins so that's all for today's video bye bye take care and i will see you in the next one